so we're going to do two minutes on algor mortis, which is the second stage of death. This happens right before rigor mortis begins. And this sets in almost immediately. The body begins to cool down, and that's what this process is. Now, if someone dies in, let's say, the desert, their body is actually going to heat up to the ambient temperature. However, in most standard cases, a person's body temperature is going to lower until it reaches the ambient stage. So if someone's put into the cooler at the hospital within an hour or two of death, their body is going to cool until they reach that much cooler ambient stage of the cooler that they are inside of. Now, a body loses the heat through three different means, convection, conduction, and radiation. It begins in the extremities of the body, so the toes, the hands, the head are all going to cool down faster than the rest, and it works its way into the core. So you see on like NCIS where they stick in the liver um, probe to test the temperature of the body right away when Ducky comes in. Well, more often than not, they may use a rectal thermometer to check the temperature, but you can also use a hypodermic needle in the liver or in the brain to check the temperature as well. Investigators will use this to determine time of death or an approximate time of death. So ambient temperature is critical, conditions of where the body is, what they're wrapped in, what their setting is are all critical to figure out the what the temperature of the body actually is. So this is all agar mortis, second stage of death. Bye. Mm -hmm.